Alright, welcome to another episode of the Goalkeeper Secrets uh, series. And today I want to talk about uh, how to mentally prepare for a tryout. Uh, as a goalkeeper, that's going to be, you know, one of the one of the tougher parts about the position, uh, you know, and, and being able to handle that pressure, uh, especially if it's for a team that you know you really want to be on, and uh, it's your goal to make it to this level, whatever you're trying out for. You know, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to perform well and to make the team. Uh, and we all experience that, uh, you know, and it starts from a young age when you're, when you're trying out for a club team or academy team, uh, then you go on to high school tryouts then there's college tryouts and then, uh, there's, uh, pro team tryouts and amateur team tryouts. So as you progress through your career, you're going to you're going to be doing quite a few tryouts. Um, and what I want to talk about is how to mentally prepare for those. Yes, you know, physically prepare and train. Make sure you get your training in um, ahead of time and make sure you're fit. That's all great. You know, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Uh, I assume that you're already doing that you know if you're a goalkeeper you know that you need to be fit and uh, physically prepared Uh, but mentally prepared you know you might you might have experienced a few you know pep talks from your coach or your parents or a mentor or teammates uh, which is good but I don't think it's enough I think you yourself have to uh, spend a good amount of time mentally preparing days before the trial, uh, maybe even weeks. Uh, and I'm not saying you need to spend you know hours in a day, but maybe take ten minutes to to mentally prepare. Um, and so, uh, some of the concepts, mental concepts that you can use. Uh, to mentally prepare are uh, one mental visualization which is uh, basically closing your eyes and imagining yourself uh, performing well you know you're performing you're making saves uh, you're in the right positions you're doing all the drills correctly. You're communicating with your defense at the right times. Everything's flowing. You're experiencing flow. So visualize, visualizing that in your head, in your mind, over and over. And you could do. You could start doing that weeks ahead of time. And that'll start to build up confidence in yourself. And it'll start to give you some reassurance that you can perform well and that you can do it because you're training your mind to already be performing those actions. Uh, and so I would repeat this over and over. Um, and then uh, another thing is to, um, it, it's, it's part of goal setting. And that would be to write down what you want to happen. What do you want the results to be of this tryout? Uh, and be very spe- as specific as you want. Be, be very specific. You, know, you can start with, I want to arrive on time uh, feeling good uh, awake alert you know write down what what you want to feel when you arrive to the tryout and and you begin and and what you want your body to feel like what you want your mind to feel like and then write down how you want to perform in the warm-ups and how you want how you want yourself to be performing just starting out doing the drills the warm-up drills working with the keeper coach or the coaches um, write down uh, how you want to be involved with the team and, and how you interact with the other players there you know how you want uh, a good experience 
working with these players. And then write down yourself how you want yourself to be performing during the scrimmages and the games. You know, taking control of the game. Uh, not waiting for for anyone to tell you how to perform. You go in there and take control and you command your defense, you command your back four. Uh, you uh, demand the ball and you want the ball at your feet. Uh, and that you make the saves that you need to make. So going back to visualizing. And so write these things down. Write what you want to do in the tryout. And this is, it, it's its sort of manifesting. You're manifesting what you want to happen during the tryout and how you want to feel. Uh, so that, that's another thing. Uh, another concept that you can take advantage of is uh, removing fear. As much as you can, remove the fear and the pressure of the tryout. And, and by doing that, you're going to be able to go in with more confidence and more conviction and uh, more grit. And that's what you want. You don't want to go in there with fear. The fear of failure, the fear of not making the team, the fear of messing up, the fear of um, getting scored on. All of those things don't help and they won't provide you with the best experience. So I would start weeks ahead of time, maybe two weeks, start thinking about removing fear from the equation. Uh, that's not even an option for you to not make the team. There is no fear of that. So, you know, you're, you're going there and performing to the best of your ability. You're gonna go in there and show your potential and that's all you can. That's all. That's all you can do. Really, is perform to the best of your abilities at that time, and everything else is out of your control. Uh, letting go is really important in these moments before the trial. So, leading up to the trial, days before, remain as positive as you can. Um, you want to have positive self-talk which is super important. And so as you, uh, as it gets closer and closer to the actual tryout, yes, be physically training and, and still keeping yourself fit, but visualizing what you want to happen, uh, writing down also what you want to happen, manifesting, and then uh, removing fear super important start th start saying to yourself I'm going to be the best goalkeeper there I'm going to perform the best I can and it's not about competing It's the, it, yes you're competing for a spot on the team and you're competing against other players but really you're competing against yourself you, you're trying to go out and be better than you were yesterday you're trying to be, be the best version of yourself and, and your abilities on the field so keeping that in your mind over and over in the, in the days and hours before the tryout, it's, I, I've, I call it the F you mentality. You know, you're going out there, F everyone else, you're going to perform and you're going to be the best keeper there. That should be your mentality. There's no fear in that. There's no fear in saying, I don't care about anyone else there. I'm there to do my thing and prove that I belong here and I belong on this team, especially if you really want to be there. Um, and so the, that that's what I recommend in, in, the, in the time leading up to the tryout. Now, when you show up to the tryout, take some time to yourself uh, maybe arrive, I would arrive early, maybe 45 minutes before you actually need to be there and warming up. Um, obviously, make sure you eat and, and drink and all that. Take care of your body. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Sleep is super important. Uh, but I, I, I would 
can say show up early, 45 minutes, take some time to yourself. Maybe go, you know, sit in your car or uh, go for a little walk and just kind of have some uh, moments to yourself to, again, remove any doubts or fears that you may be having um, and say to yourself that I'm going to be the best goalkeeper here. I'm going to perform every drill the best I can. I'm going to make all the saves that I can. I'm going to be as great as I can possibly be today. And this is going to help you so much to be calm going to the trial because you don't want to you don't want to be too nervous and and uh, too uptight. You want to go in there loose, feeling good, confident, uh, fearless, and have conviction. Conviction is super important. So the actual belief that you're going to be selected and that you're going to make the team. Super important to have that belief. It, it, it can't, you can't waver on that. It has to stay with you. Uh, so super important to have that conviction. You know, if you have that, you, you're already halfway there. You're already halfway to being selected for the team by having that. Uh, it's going to show up when you have conviction. It shows in your body language. It shows in your demeanor. It shows in how you communicate. Uh, it shows in how... It shows to your, the other players there. Uh, and they can see it. And the coaches will recognize that. Uh, whether they're looking for it or not. You know, that's, that's something that you want to happen is maybe, you know, the coach... You're in a scrimmage during the tryout and, and the coaches are... You know, they're focusing on, on maybe they're focusing on, uh, you know, one of the, the, the central midfielder. They're like, okay, we, we want to see how this, this guy's performing right now. But all of a sudden, uh, you take charge and, and you scream at your, your right back about something. And they're like, oh, wow, the, the, this keeper is, is seeing the game and, and he's recognizing something that needs to be changed. And he just made a command. And we like that. So that... Now all of a sudden the attention is on you because you took charge and made it known that you wanted to fix something. Uh, I think that's so vital to, to, to getting to the next level is, uh, you know, commanding attention to yourself when you're on the field. And yes, as a goalkeeper, I, I understand the game has to come to you. You know, you're not a forward. You can't go out and create a play and go score a goal on command. You know, as a goalkeeper, you kind of have to wait for things to happen and then you react. Uh, that's the thing you, is you have to, your reaction has to be on point. It has to be uh, with conviction and it has to be quick. And, uh, so when you when you react in the right way at the right time, it's going to show, and, and coaches will recognize that. So yeah, uh, I hope this helps. Um, you know, I know how tough tryouts can be. Uh, I've done quite a few of them myself when I was younger. I wish. I knew a lot of these things when I was younger. I wish I had someone sit me down and talk me through these things. I understand as a goalkeeper, a lot of times you're alone with your own thoughts and you don't always have all the tools to, to help you through things. Yeah, you, you might be able to have, if you're, if you're fortunate enough, you might have parents that can help you through this um, or you might have friends, mentors, uh, and, and coaches that you can call. You know, Let's say you... You're on a, a club team and you're, you're trying out for a college. You know, you call your club coach, ask him for some advice. And, and that's another thing. Before I forget, don't be afraid to ask people for advice. Your coaches, your parents, your friends. I think that's something I didn't do enough of was uh, seek out advice and um, mentorship 
before big things like this, like tryouts or going to camps. I, you know, a lot of times I was left to my own devices. Um, and it's not, that's no fault of anyone else. It's my fault for not uh, pursuing that or, or asking for help. And I think that would have been really beneficial, uh, I believe. So I'm hoping with this video and, and the whole series that you can come to these videos as reminders uh, before you go into a tryout. So yeah, I'm really excited for you. If you're about to go on a tryout, uh, remember, be fearless. Have conviction that you're the best goalkeeper there. Have the FU mentality. It doesn't matter who else is there. You're going to show up and be your best self. And just think about you want to prove mainly to yourself that you can you can perform and that you can uh, reach your full potential. That should be your goal every day. Uh, and every day you show up for the tryout, you know, perform to the best of your abilities. Uh, so with that, I'm going to leave you with my mantra. Patience plus persistence plus gratitude equals abundance. All right, I'll see you guys next time.